let's get into article 320, which is armored cable. Now, armored cable is a wiring method that's not really that popular anymore. There, there's some parts of the country that they still use a lot of it. You'll see a lot of armored cable in New York, for example. But in most parts of the country, if you're using a metal cable wiring method, you're using MC cable. Now, AC cable, again, it, it, it's still used, but here's the thing. We're going to talk specifically about 320.23, which is for cables in accessible attics. But here's the thing. Even if you don't use AC cable, 320.23 applies to all cable wiring methods. So maybe all you do is, is residential and you install miles upon miles of NM cable. You know the rules for protecting the cable around the attic access. Well, where do those rules come from? 320.23. So it's important that you understand that 320.23 applies to not just AC cable. It applies to all cable wiring methods around accessible attics. So let's take a peek at what it says and how it changed. So 320.23, accessible attics. The rules for protecting cables in attics were revised for accuracy. Now, look, I'm just going to be honest here. I, I don't know that this is necessarily a technical change. You, you could argue that it is, but it's definitely a clarification. Now, I know this picture is, is kind of busy here, but, but let's just kind of go through it. Um, this, is, <laughs> this is one of those rules that I think most people in the industry had wrong for a very long time. Uh, I know I certainly did. I used to teach it one way, and then I had a guy that was, I mean, seriously, first year apprentice as green as green can be, raised his hand and said, I don't think that's what the rule says. And I was like, of course that's what it says, you know? And we looked at it and I was like, holy cow, I'm wrong. Every book I've written was wrong. All the books I wrote for my cult were wrong. Uh, the NEC handbook was wrong. <laughs> Everybody had this rule wrong. So let's see what it actually says. It says, look, cables that are installed on top of framing members across the face of rafters and studding within seven feet of the floor or horizontal surface must be protected by guard strips. That seven foot dimension is a vertical dimension. It's not a horizontal dimension. And that's where people screwed up. So measured from the top of the floor joist or you know, ceiling joist, rafter, in this case, the bottom cord of the trusses, whatever it is that you're standing on, measured from there up seven feet for the entire attic you have to protect the cables against physical damage by running a guard strip or something along next to it now don't worry there, there is an exception to this so don't lose your mind yet and think oh my god i gotta go through the entire attic and protect all the cables well you you might but let's keep reading so over here we've got our guard strip so what this is saying is look when you get into the attic you need to be walking on wood and not on cables. So we've got this guard strip here laid alongside that NM cable to protect me from standing on it. And that's exactly what this rule is addressing. And again, this applies to NM cable, SE cable, you know, AC cable, MC cable. You get up in the attic, stand on wood, not wire. From the floor, up seven feet. So if I'm in the attic and I, and I start to fall and I'm going to you know, start grabbing onto trusses or whatever to prevent me from falling. I need to make sure that I'm grabbing wood and not grabbing the cable and ripping down the cable as I go through the attic. So we need to protect all the cable against that physical damage. All right, so what it used to say is it used to say measured from the floor joist upward. Well, not every attic has floor joists. In fact, I'll tell you, in my area, you will never see an attic that has floor joists very seldom would you see ceiling joists, very seldom would you see rafters. What you're going to see is trusses, like in the photograph here, and those are the bottom cord of the truss. They're not a floor joist, they're not a ceiling joist, they're the bottom cord of the truss. So they clarified and, and just made it more accurate saying, okay, listen, cables on top of framing members, whatever that means, floor joists, ceiling joists, rafters, you know, bottom cord of trusses, doesn't matter. From the top up six, up seven feet need to be protected. If we keep reading, it says, if the attic is accessible by a permanently installed ladder or stair, all cables throughout the entire attic must be protected from the bottom up seven feet. All right, so here I've got a permanently installed ladder. 
that would be the same rule as if I had stairs going up into the attic. Look, if you have stairs or you have permanent, a permanently installed ladder, then people are probably going to get up into the attic. But if you don't have stairs and you don't have a ladder like this photograph here, people aren't really going into the attic. You know who's going into that attic? You and I, electricians. We're the ones going up in the attic. The homeowner's not. So if you don't have a permanent ladder, then the rule only applies within six feet of the attic access. And that's where people used to screw up. I think a lot of people said, okay, if you don't have a permanent ladder, you only need to protect within six feet. And if you do have a permanent ladder, you had to protect within seven feet. No, 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 that's not, that's not the rule. The seven feet is the vertical dimension, all right? So you need to protect every cable from the floor up seven feet within a six foot diameter of the attic access, all right? But if you have permanent stairs or a ladder, you gotta protect the cables throughout the entire attic from the floor up seven feet. And again, from the framing member, ceiling joist, floor joist, bottom cord of the truss, whatever it is you're standing. Measure, measure from there up seven feet. All right, we will see you guys on the next code change, which talks about Article 334, NM Cable. See you then.